back that thing up. <laughs> These two are too much. What's up my Vina loves? It's Miss Vina D coming to you all from Vina Entertainment News. Although this video is not going to be that long, I just felt like the season finale to season two was just, even though, you know, you guys are so amazing the comments you know the the feedback same thing <laughs> and you guys like I said are amazing to me and your support is just awesome but I still felt like it was missing something it was missing a major element it was just missing that normal you know oomph <laughs> <laughs> that I normally have in the episodes especially for a season finale and I kept saying in that video that, you know, I wanted to wait to see if they had more, but then the episode was going to be late and I wanted to make sure that I stayed on schedule and kept my word to all of you, especially with me also traveling for business. I was like, well, I have time right now. So, you know, just go ahead and do it right now so that you are not behind schedule. But what these two did tonight, I was just like, oh, mm -mm. I can't wait until Monday. I have to do a bonus episode or do a part two to the CZ finale. You know, do you all remember what happened in Miami? Right. <laughs> this picture right here. I don't have to go digging up that video. Just go on the playlist and watch that whole video, <laughs> that whole episode. I don't have to go digging that up. But yeah, Rachel was like, listen, I am grinding and having fun with my fiance. I'm a groom bleep woman. I don't care what you guys have to say. Just because I'm an attorney does not mean that I'm not a woman and I'm not a human being. I'm not a young person enjoying and I'm going to say it again even though it's overkill and living my best life, you know? I'm not going to not dance, grind, enjoy the culture, enjoy my time because of what people have to say. Girl, she was all up in there. Brian was like, okay, girl, <laughs> one more man. You can just tell not to become, you know, not to roam the moment or give you guys a weird visual. But Lord, those two, oh my goodness, the way how she be on him in public, I can only imagine. I'm not even going to go there. <laughs> <laughs> but Brian was like, okay. But anyways, I love that they didn't just, you know, go on vacation and lock themselves up in their rooms. They actually have, you know, placed themselves in the culture. I just, I love it. I love it. I mean, Rachel out there dancing, like Brian is just on the sideline, like, okay. And she's sort of twirling. I was like, okay, Kenya Moore. <laughs> And she's having an amazing time. I love that. You know, I love when you go on vacation, you just let loose. You, you know, just throw yourself in the culture of the people. And it's not just because that's what you're there for. You're there to have different experiences. You're there to, you know, live and enjoy yourself. And so that when you come back home, it's not just I went to this beautiful place and it looked like paradise and it was awesome. But you can also say, you know what? When we went over here, this is what they did, how they what they did, how you know they dance, handle certain things. And so I love that, you know, Rachel and Brian are, you know, just basically engulfed in the culture over there. And I just love her spirit. I love their spirit, but I just love her spirit of what I love about them and I always say this I just love how well balanced they are and it's not often I'm so glad that Rachel chose Brian because I cannot imagine any of this happening with the other guy or whoever that you know excluding Brian and things just going as seamlessly as they do like these two can be serious professionals you know get the job done then they could be you know god fearing people going to church putting god first um giving back to the community then they could be ratchet for a second you know there's nothing wrong with some you know ratchet and hood every little <laughs> every you know every you know now and then 
you guys have seen the videos that I've posted on their road trips and the music choices and things like that. You know, I'm not just click the playlist, man, and have a good old time if you haven't seen those episodes because I don't want to make this one any longer by going back and digging up old episodes. Just go ahead and you know go through the playlist and make a choice. So I just love it. I love how well balanced they are i also love how they openly and freely live their lives like they are really embodying what i always preach that live your life do you be happy stop listening to the outside noises because no matter who you are how amazing you are you know there will always be that one person there will always be someone who don't rock with you agree with you so just live in a way so you know which is not allowing the whole hate for Miami stop her from having a good time with her man and filming it and posting it you know go on to that video this uh, thumbnail right here and see some of the comments I don't know if some of them are still there because YouTube have this new thing where they could filter comments you know if the comments is too up there or deemed inappropriate then your comments you know might go away and it's not me deleting anything because you guys know I be in there with all of you responding to every comment saying what I engage with you guys and it's not because oh right now I have you know I'm almost at 3k um, subscribers it's not because of that no matter how big this channel get I will always be up there in, in the comments you know saying what's up you know and, and going back and forth in a positive way of course with all of you but Rachel got a lot of backlash from the Miami episode because for some odd reason and sometimes people wonder why their relationships don't work you know you you have to be a well-rounded well-balanced person you can't be robotic it can't be one way talking about oh because she's an attorney um, that's so embarrassing how embarrassing it is for her father father or her family and, and, and this for her to be out there publicly grinding on her fiance you know just another black woman being disgusting some of the comments were really bad I was just like all of this because a woman is having a good time with her fiance who I was like girl bye yeah some of yeah most I mean majority of the people who left those comments were females <laughs> I was just like okay there's nothing disrespectful here a woman is having fun she's not twerking in the courtroom <laughs> You know what I'm saying? She's not walking in a courtroom twerking. I completely see where people are coming from. It's almost like how teachers get attacked when they're not in the classroom. And there have been instances where teachers have been removed from their position and had to sue the school because on their public social media pages they're seen on their drinking going out and the school feels like oh your students could have access to their social media pages and that's not a great representation of the school and i've seen it where it's like but they're not in the classroom though so i get it that you know rachel is held at this high standard because she's an attorney but she's also a woman who have a life outside of the courtroom so rachel keep doing your thing girl all right brian the same thing goes for you i love it <laughs> but you know they went ahead and posted more amazing pictures you know I'm here but look at how drop dead gorgeous like this picture right here though like my goodness her skin against his skin and their natural glow you know the whole no makeup like like I always say man these two just look like they could turn a regular camera their cell phone camera in the face image into like an out of a magazine photo shoot moment you know I mean I just love this picture right here is just everything she look like my gosh she look like a little girl <laughs> I love that they're having a good time though and um the you know how I was talking about in the last image with the water in the background and all of that I love this one right here. I also love um, Rachel caption. There's no place I'd rather be. Of course, vacation. 
and of course with her man. Um, this caption is also on this image right here with Brian. Look at how big he is and his hand just wrapped around her. I know these two. He be picking her up. Okay, I'm going to stop. Let me keep talking. <laughs> god but i'm happy for them that you know they're having fun and they're having a great time so i'm excited for brian and rachel i'm also going to say well before i say that you know these two over here having the mustache they're having a great time and i'm here for it i'm going to go ahead and post two bonus episodes after this yes so enjoy because it's um the next episode i'm going to post uh, yeah <laughs> i'm gonna just leave it at that and uh, uh, I'm, I'm gonna leave i'm gonna leave it for the episode okay but i just want to go ahead and just add something extra that would have made the finale just you know end with a bang especially those dance move and the excitement in the beginning so i'm gonna go ahead and end it here my vina loves i'm wishing you all an amazing day man thank you so much for the support and the love like i said please continue to come back you know make a comment you know hit that thumbs up if you're not subscribed subscribe as well and click that button man so that click that bell so when i upload you guys can get a notification that i have posted all right well you have a wonderful day remember to always have a god bless attitude which is being positive at all times and seeing a good in every situation have a great day guys god bless